In this age of vertical video content, no video editor software was more hyped than CapCut, with thousands of tutorials and even more content created using the app. Needless to say, the hype was real, and for a good reason too. The app managed to lower the level of entry for content creation so much. Even my grandma can create videos to share them on the internet. Of course, this has coincided with the rising popularity of platforms like TikTok and all the other vertical short-format video websites, which helped CapCut solidify itself as one of the most popular video editing applications in this space. So no longer do you need a high-end machine to edit videos. You can just do it from the comfort of your phone, which is great. So people will usually choose the path of least resistance. Our brains are just wired for that. Orange button versus grayed out button, well, I guess I will just click the orange button. This video is brought to you by CapCut. Stick till the end of the video to know about a deal they are making available through our channel. Do you even remember the time when people used to get bashed and bullied when they recorded videos vertically? Now it is the standard. Personally, I didn't pay much attention to CapCut at first and I first thought it was just a gimmick application that will fall out of popularity sooner than later. However, even though CapCut started as a mobile editing app, it exploded in popularity as it is owned by the same parent company as TikTok, and this helped push it a lot on the platform. Soon after that, CapCut launched its web-based editor, which allows you to use CapCut without the need for all the processing power, and it allows you to do all the processing on the cloud. But now, they released a fully flushed editing software that you can install on your system compatible with both Windows and Mac, which puts it in direct competition with Premiere, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve, among many others. And all of that while remaining free to use, which is crazy. This is a call to have triple caution to all the editing software out there. So join me as we take a dive into CapCut and see what the fuss is all about. CapCut is a mobile app that allows you to do a ton of cool effects and AI-assisted tricks, which was really the selling point for me. Even though you don't have full control over every single detail, it is absolutely more than enough for most people, and there is some stuff that it does really well. For instance, tracking, which I think is one of the areas where the app shines. You can track any object specifically phases with crazy precision, and you can use the track to stabilize the video or attach something like text and so on. The UI itself is very simple. It might look a bit confusing at first, but you will get used to it once you edit a video or two. The app also offers a ton of tutorials and instructions to guide you on how to do pretty much anything you will ever need so you don't get lost. From the home screen, you can sign in, import, export, and upload your clips or you can start a new project or use different templates. Once inside a project, you can edit your videos on a timeline, cut, move, add background music, and combine clips like any other editing software. But you also get a ton of awesome features and tools, which can be found at the bottom row. And finally, your preview, which can be expanded to fill the whole screen. Generally speaking, it is very minimalistic and compact. For the browser app, you can go to copcat.com and click edit video online. The interface is very similar to all the web editors out there, and even more similar to PC applications. As you can see, you have your preview and settings panel at the top, and the timeline at the bottom, standard stuff, you know. You also have your tools on the left along with other effects, like transition and filters. You can drag and drop media to your project and you can link your cloud storage. And finally, at the top left, you can find the export button. Now, for the PC version, you can download it by going to the website and clicking download for free. Once it is downloaded, simply install it like any other software. The PC version interface is very similar to the web app with a couple of additional features. I personally like these simple interfaces, but that's just me. On the left, you have our media panel along with other panels like audio, text presets, stickers, effects, transitions, 
adjustments and so on. And as always, your preview panel and the timeline at the bottom. Of course, the PC version offers a ton of other features, which puts it in par with other editing software. So after dominating the phone market, being the number one app for editing, and now with the PC version, CapCut is holding all fronts. All they need to do is them optimize, improve, and build upon already amazing software. And some of this stuff here are really amazing, like transitions, effects, and all the stuff you need to create professional videos, color corrections, audio, music, and not to mention the plethora of other editing features, and all of that is for free, making it one of the best editing software out there. So if you like what you see, and you want to try CapCut for free, you can follow the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.